الله الرحمن الرحيم يسألونك عن الساعة أيان مرساها so the main word in this ayah is sa'ah the literal meaning of sa'ah is time nowadays in modern Arabic they say for the watch clock that is also sa'ah or an hour is also sa'ah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring to the qiyamah the last hour the end of the world So let's translate word by word. The first word is yes aluna ka. So yes aluna is from sual. It's a present tense that people they ask you. Yes aluna they ask ka you. O Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Anis saati about the kiyama. About the time. In the time of the Qiyamah. Ayyana Mursaha. When it will take place. When it's going to come. So Ayyana means when. Like we have in Arabic for the same meaning as the word Mata. Mata. Mursaha. Mursa. It's a very good expression. You know, when a ship is coming in the ocean. And when it comes to the, the coastal area and they anchor, you know that uh, it's anchored, it is stopped. So that is called Mursa in Arabic. So they said in a taunting way that when the Qiyamat is coming and when it's going to be anchored, when it takes place. Fima anta min dikraha. So tell them that uh, or Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it is not uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not make it for you to mention the time or uh, say that there is no uh, it, it does not come under my uh, you know task that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me and this uh, mentioning of the Qiyamah is not my job. It is the, the knowledge of the Qiyamah is up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Fima anta min dikraha. Fima, it's a question that with what? Anta, you. Min dikraha, remembrance. So, dikra means remembrance. Yani, <coughs> the mentioning of the time say I I have nothing to do with that it's something like that Fima anta min dikraha ila rabbika muntahaha to your lord to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the end of uh, the you know knowledge of the qiyamah that when the qiyamah will take place it is known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So, muntaha is the end. When the, the whole world will come to an end, is the knowledge of that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Innama anta mundiru man yakshaha. You, if you are the warner for those who have the fear of the Qiyamah. Those who have the belief in the Qiyamah and they are having the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are getting ready for that. So you are warner for them. You are you know, conveying the message of the Qiyamah to them. Mundir is from Inzar, that means a warner. Mm -hmm. And as you know that this is one of the title of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like Nazir or Mundir. Man yakshaha, those who have the khashiyat, those who have the khawf of the qiyamah. Ka'annahum yawma yarawnaha lam yalbathu illa ashiyatan aw duhaha. It seems yani, that when the time of the qiyamah will be there, actually it will take place 
so they will see on the day of the qiyama as if they lived in this world they stayed in this world just as the evening time or the morning time no matter how many years they lived in this world 70 80 years 60 years whatever but they will feel on the day of the qiyama that they stayed only just for a part of the day or part of the night so um, what is the word of yes aluna what is the meaning of that they will ask they will ask you they will ask you okay if uh, we do the conjugation because we are practicing the conjugation also so i will give you the word for first person asalu if i say i ask asalu how do you make it uh, all the eight asalu yasalu asalu tasalu tasalu yasalu yasalu yasaluna and uh, tasalu asalu tasalu ha asalu ha tasalu ha yasal uh, tasuni okay tas that was the third one asalu tasalu tasalin tasalin and uh, then yasalu yasalu then tasalu tasalu then nasalu uh, nasalu and then two more tasaluna tasaluna and yasaluna yasalu remember from arabic class we did the conjugation yes okay so yasaluna is the plural for the meaning of they they, they are asking an yes. saati ayyana mursaha fi ma anta min dhikraha al dhikra means to remember remembering mentioning or discussing yes ila rabbika muntahaha an muntaha means the end the end of inma inma comes for the meaning of hasr like exclusively you are only like your job is only munziru warning warning warner man yakhshaha those who are having the fear, yeah. fear yeah. of the yeah. qiyamah yeah. ha is the pronoun that is referring to the qiyamah ka'annahum yeah. it is the word that gives you the meaning or expression of like when so it seems ah uh, it seems that yawma yarawnaha the day when they will see it yarawna yarawna is from ra'a to see so yarawna is also like yes aluna is the plural if you can the, make the conjugation of yara so yarawna lam yalbathu yalbathu lam lam yalbasu they did not they did not stay they did not stay like lam yaskunu the other word yaskunu sakan yaskunu lam yaishu illa ashiyatan illa means except ashiyatan is the time that starts after zuhur prayer so between zuhur and maghrib time that is called ashiya and from the same word we have the word isha isha prayer time and in arabic for the dinner it's called asha mm-hmm. with the qata asha yes so all those go by this time of evening aw duhaha duha is the morning time mm-hmm. and this time basically from fajr after fajr all the way till zuhur time so that is zuhur duha time illa ashiyatan aw duha So this is Ashiyat and here is between Zuhur and Asr. No, Maghrib. Yeah. Zuhur and Maghrib. Zuhur and Maghrib. Yes. Like till the evening time. Fajr to Dhahar. And Fajr to Dhahar is Doha time. Salat to Doha. Salat to Doha. There is a prayer also. Mm-hmm. That is the morning time. And there is Surah Al-Fadhat Doha and Laili Iza Sajab. Uh, the ha at the end of duha what does it refer to yeah it's referring to the qiyama as-sa'a or this dunya so all the ha here is sa'a the al qiyama na naam naam inna ma anta mundhiru ma yakhsha kana hu yawma yarawnaha lam yalbathu illa shiyatan aw duha so 
so time is also relative yeah. right when uh, uh, people they will be on the day of judgment so for them the time whatever years they spend in this world it will be looking very short time like just a day or part of the day so time is always relative and they say kam labiste these people they will be asked that how how many years or how much time you lived in this world and they say labistu yawman wa bada yawmin fasalil adin so you ask all those who keep the time those who count the time okay so inshallah have a question now when we say innama antamun